Hi guys, my name is Ruth Kimani and welcome back to my channel. Are you looking to start a business on secondhand clothes, shoes, and you're wondering where to get them, how much to get them for, and where exactly to sort them at? This might be the video that you are looking for. My name is Ruth Kimani and I am the next big thing. all right first of all guys i am sorry i apologize for my background but let's forget my background i just want to give you good content but listen i will work on my background i know there are people who like seeing good things behind them but yo we will work on that all right so in this video i'm gonna show you where you can source things particularly shoes at 50 shillings and this mostly i do for those people who want to resell those people who are looking for a side hustle or a main hustle because probably you don't have a job and you're at home and you're wondering where to start all right so i'm gonna take you straight to where i source my shoes from the ones that i sell because yes i sell shoes me i sell everything all right so gikomba sell great shoes and i'm gonna teach you the art of the art of bargaining such that when someone tells you a shoe goes for 900 mm, mm -mm, that is not what they mean they mean a hundred shillings yes but because you're going to tell him uh i mean 500 Wrong, 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 wrong. Mm -mm, honey, no. Let me teach you the art of bargaining and let me teach you where you can get some of these shoes. Now, this shoe, this shoe was 50 shillings. This shoe, there you go. This shoe was 50 shillings. And as you can see, this shoe is new. It's actually written butter. Butter. You can see. Let me. Yeah, there you go. That shoe was 50 shillings. And guys, you can sell that shoe at 200, 250, depending on your location, depending on where you're going to walk, or depending on where your shop is located, that shoe might bring you a hundred and fifty percent profit the other shoe that i'm about to show you and i'm going to explain to you where i saw this, this is a chelsea boot and this boot was a hundred shillings oh yes it was a hundred shillings and as you can see it's quite new that was also a hundred shillings um look at that boot that was also a hundred shillings yes there you go there you go there you go and this shoe that particular boot you can sell that boot at well come on you can sell it at 300 shillings and you will comfortably sell it for 300 shillings yes yes all right this other shoe this is an open um shoe this was 200 shillings guess how much this shoe was i was being told it cost yani when i saw this shoe and i went uh to bargain guess how much it was it was 900 shillings now listen guys i'm gonna teach you something about gikomba all right so Please, Mnyombe, I need another phone. So my space just ran out. I went Nikakimbia to delete some apps because my phone has very small memory. Anyway, God will bless me. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. So I was teaching you the art of bargaining. And the reason why sometimes I talk so fast is because I don't want space. And I haven't really explained to you guys. All right. So when you, when you go to Gikomba, and particularly when you go to buy shoes, 
and you're told a shoe cost 900. That is not what they mean. First of all, they start with, you need tisa, letter tisa. So when they tell you letter tisa, don't start telling them, I have tano. You have tano from where? You don't have tano, you have moja. Yes. Say, nikona moja. And keep a straight face. But listen, if it's a shoe that you like, and you say moja, and you see our taki, tell them, chukwambili basi. Yes? That, they will take. Trust me. I've been doing this. I know. All right. The other thing is, perhaps if you're told 1300, a shoe that you'll be told 1300 costs around 400. And it's a really nice shoe. And these shoes mostly is a men. Yani, this is a shoe that if you look at like this, hmm, ukipiga kona hivi, watu wana kuangalia. Ukienda hivi, you know, because it's a really, really, really nice shoe. So, when you go to Gikomba, you must learn these things so that you do not buy a shoe at a very high cost. A shoe that you will have bought at a very low cost. All right. So that is on shoes. Where can you get these shoes? Okay, when you get to Gikomba and probably it's your first time or it's not your first time but you've never gone to the shoes place. So just ask someone, kwa mto ni wapi? Ama kwa viatu ni wapi? They will direct you. And so you will start. But now I'll advise you to go to uko mwisho kwa mto. Ask someone kwa mto kwa viatu ni wapi? That is where they have those shoes. You can get shoes for 50 shillings and you can resell those shoes for 100 perhaps or 200. You can, this is a business where you can make 100 plus, even 200 percent profit. Okay, kwa viatu, kwa mto. Go down there because when you start from ugu kwa, kwa barabara because so you see they're thinking um probably you don't know kokwamto so by the time you nafika uko washa kugonga so don't start there enda kwamto and enda asubui you will get great things all right another thing i wanted to talk to you about is tops where can you source for tops that go for 10 shillings a top like this that i'm wearing this is a very sexy top it's a very nice top <laughs> A top that you can sell for up to 200 shillings or 100. Again, my space ran out. So I had to delete Netflix, TikTok. Oh. Anyway, so these tops, you can sell them at 100 maybe or 150 depending on where you are. Again, all right? Because business is about, you know, strategic location and yeah, basically such things. So... This top, I'm also going to insert a video where you can see other tops that I have where I sell them from. You can see all those tops were 10 shillings. Where can you get these tops? Okay, you have gone to Gikomba, right? And in Gikomba, these places are known. So just ask, Kwagashosho ni wapi? Alright, so when you go to Kwagashosho, ask for maybe Bahati, Kwa Bahati ni wapi? Bahati is also a guy who sells tops. He's my friend. Not that it's, it's important, but <laughs> anyway. So ask for kwa Bahati or kwa Gashosho. But probably kwa Gashosho, that is more popular. So I'm going to tell you something. Again, go at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. they open this bill. And they have very, very unique, nice tops. At 10 shillings. Yes. Usigongwe, don't pay more. 10 shillings. So here, yeah, the trick is, first of all, you'll be surprised utashikwa na culture shock because people normally fight for these tops. But don't worry, you just go with your pace. If you're not, kama wasi omtuwa kupigana, usi fight, don't fight. Wait for them, watch a good, because most of these people ni wale wakurisel and they have shops in town or others ni hokas watao. And you know how atu vili ni wa aggressive. But you know, um, survival for the fittest. Sindio, uh, a chick got to do what a chick got to do. Na kunadi ma vijana. So you need to be very careful. 
don't carry your phone if you have to be very careful at 2 p.m go at 2 p.m every day and that is when they open their bill now those tops are 10 shillings you can resell them and you will make a hundred and all also i mean even up to a hundred plus 200 percent profit guys these are things that i have tried these are not things that are far-fetched i'm not sourcing this from from anywhere else this is something that i have tried all right i also have places you can buy jewelry but i'm not going to do that today because this space is not enough and my phone is just acting up if you really want to know where to source for jewelry and by jewelry i mean brass earrings and necklaces and rings yes and for the rings this is what i'm talking about yes these particular rings if these are earrings but the little kana you know if you're interested in such kindly let me know in the description down below so that i can do that video i might actually take you to that shop so that you can see the variety and how much you can buy in wholesale and in retail if this video has taught you something kindly forget I mean, and comment down below now go and make money bye